Do you have an older home, but you don't know how to make it more energy efficient? We're going to show you just where to start coming up next on The Greenhouse Effect. You know, like many homeowners, we know that our old house has problems with its old windows and its leaky shell. Now, we'd blown some cellulose insulation into the wall cavities years ago, but there was nothing keeping the wind from blowing right through that insulation, making the house drafty and negating a large part of the insulating value. Now, we also knew that the old single pane windows were damaged and leaky, as were the doors. But just how leaky is this old house, and how could we really make the house more energy efficient? The project seemed overwhelming. So we turned to Andrew Frowine of Save Green USA to help us figure it all out. Andrew is a home energy rating systems tester, also known by the acronym HERS Tester. It's his business to advise people on where their homes are losing energy and the best ways to go about fixing them. When I go and talk to people, I feel there's like three basic reasons to do this. I mean, the first one in many people's mind is save money, and that's great. But improved comfort is really on people's minds. That's the one that hits them every day. If you feel moisture problems, if you feel draft problems, you know, and then the third one is the environmental impact. Uh, you know, the idea of uh, creating green jobs, creating more security for the country. I mean, those are all, those are great benefits and they're real. But with so much conflicting information out there about home efficiency, it's hard to decide what to do first. And honestly, the best way to go about it is to evaluate what you have before you start throwing money into it. Doesn't matter what kind of energy you put into your house, if you blow it out the windows, you're wasting it. Right. So why not start with getting your envelope in the tightest shape that's possible? So our first part is to say, okay, let's look at the basic shell of the home. Let's make it as tight as feasible. So we can help you build a roadmap through establishing your current baseline and through projecting out the benefits of certain repairs you may want to do. But how can you even start to quantify the million little inefficiencies and leaks in an older home? So the challenge of our industry in, in energy auditing is we're dealing with intangibles. I mean, it's very hard to see air leakage with your eye. You can touch it and feel it. Uh, but some of the tools we have really are, uh, will bring this to a point where you can see it. If you can see the pressure testing number, thermal imaging, you can actually see the leaking. So pressure testing and thermal imaging are the basic tools of the trade. But what do we do with the information once we have it? But they also have developed a software program where all this data can be input and it will yield reports that will, I think, show you both uh, where your house is clearly, as we talked in the beginning, and as you make improvements, it will show you the uh, projected benefit of those improvements. It all sounded good. A detailed account of this old house's faults, followed by concrete steps toward fixing them. I was ready to get the ball rolling. A HERS test starts with some simple information gathering, including the size of your home, how it's built and insulated, the types and age of your windows and doors, how much energy you use each month, and lots of other related bits of data. Once all the data is gathered, the actual testing begins. Pressure testing is done with a blower door test. This puts an actual number on exactly how leaky your home is. Since we've got this set up, just quickly to give you an idea of what we've done, we've just filled this space with, a, with this canvas, uh, basically, and it's got a door frame that adjusts to your door, mm -hmm. even if it's out of square. We've got a very, it's like a three-quarter horsepower fan mm -hmm. that's now covered, and we've got a manometer, which is a gauge, which will, uh, it's, a, it's a pressure measurement. And it's those pressure measurements that show just where and how bad the leaks are. So uh, as we get ready for this test, is there anything I need to do in the house? Please. Yeah, well, what we want to do is, uh, first of all, we're going to be depressurizing your house. So we'll be, you know, creating a situation where stuff will be creating a negative pressure. So things like uh, any vents that would be open, like a dryer vent or anything like that, we want to check. Any windows would be need to be closed. We basically want to prepare the house like it would be in the winter. Uh, the damper on the fireplace, or in the case I looked, you've got glass doors on it, that needs to be closed. Usually, there, if ashes are in the fireplace, we might want to clean those out, and we want to just look for anything that might just either sort of make dust or influence the test. 
Then we get down to the nitty gritty, and the wind really begins to blow when the fan kicks in. This is the Pascal measurement. I'm going to 50. I want 50. This is the CFM that's flowing across the blower door. A tight home is 1,200 or less. Mine is 600. Our she won't go no more, Captain. <laughs> 26, 2650. Ouch, 2650? When a tight house is below 1200 and Andrew's house is 600? The Wilson house has a long way to go. The pressure testing continued, both manual tests and computer controlled tests. At one point, Andrew had this sobering bit of information for us. The cumulative effect of all the leakage in your house, if you uh, would be equal to a hole in your house, it would be like 10 by 15 inches. Man. Just imagine that. I mean, you know, <laughs> that, that sort of brings it home for people. And it shows That's the size of the hole in my house? Power. We've been trying to heat and cool the great outdoors for years. Not very efficient. Once the general testing was completed, Andrew used a handheld unit to find out which rooms were the leakiest. Then he was able to probe particular spots in each room. Where were our worst leaks? Around recessed lighting, through switch and outlet boxes, and around the new bookcases I'd built in the girls' bedroom. The old office space over the garage was particularly bad, and we were finally convinced that the old rotted structure was beyond repair. Next, Andrew used a thermal imaging camera to detect where we would lose heating or cooling to the outdoors through either air leaks or lack of insulation. Between pressure testing and thermal imaging, you can learn a lot about your home's building envelope. After a few hours of information gathering, pressure testing, and thermal imaging, Andrew packed up his hybrid car and headed back to the office to do the number crunching that would pinpoint our home's inefficiencies. A few days later, a very detailed HERS test analysis packet arrived. In it, we could see not only the test results, but also suggestions on the best ways to remedy our problems. Not only was the HERS test a great place to start, but it will be a good reference into the future as we make improvements. Well, all in all, our house scored pretty well, considering that it's 70 years old. Now, most older homes will score above 100, and that's bad. Any score above 100 means that your home is inefficient compared to the HERS baseline test home. Now, since we've already made a few minor efficiency improvements in our home, our score of 84 wasn't too bad. It was under 100, so it was better than some. Our aim, though, through a deep energy retrofit process will be to get close to a score of zero. Now, a score of zero means that your home creates all of the energy it uses by coupling deep energy efficiency with clean energy production, like solar or wind power. 84 to zero. The Wilson home has quite a ways to go. People uh, are demanding this technology. They're demanding to see the energy rating statistics of the homes that they want to purchase. They're seeing the value of an Energy Star rated home. Andrew can see the big picture as well, getting American energy use under control to solve economic, climate change, and national security issues all at once. That's what I'm hoping we can do. Through conservation, everybody right now could embrace this technology within a decade. We could cut 20 to 30 percent of the energy usage in this country. And Andrew Frowine and Save Green USA are doing their part to get us there. Want to find out how your home rates? Find out with a detailed HERS rating. Go to www.thegreenhouseeffect.com to find a HERS tester near you. Andrew's detailed testing has given us a baseline, a place to start this deep energy retrofit journey. Tune in next time to see just how we intend to bring this old house into the 21st century and beyond on The Greenhouse Effect. Well, looks like now it's time to roll up our sleeves, grab some tools, and get to work.